But what if you do need the points and you decide to do the assignment? Chances are it's not just something that you can quickly take care of in a single action. It may require planning, research, writing, editing, revision, asking for feedback, and so on. In GTD lingo, this is what we call a project. Projects are so important because most of the meaningful work that we do in our lives doesn't come from the quick and easy one-off actions. So for that reason, I'll do a separate video just on projects. But for now, basically realize that projects produce a series of actions and they need to be reviewed and monitored on an ongoing basis. Whether an action is a single one-off action or it comes from a project that you're working on, the next question is, who will do it? Just because you're responsible for making sure something gets done doesn't mean it necessarily has to be you that does it. Think about group projects. You will only do part of the work yourself, but you still share in the collective responsibility for the whole project. So perhaps an action can be done by others, so you've delegated it. But just because you've delegated it doesn't mean that it's completely off your plate. These actions should be tracked on a list of things that you're waiting for. This way you can follow up with people to make sure things are on track. Following up consistently is a great way to show others that you clearly understand the separation of responsibilities and you want to make sure that everyone's expectations are aligned. Your waiting for list needs to be regularly monitored. If while you're processing your stuff you come across an item that's actionable, requires only one step and needs to be done by you, and it doesn't take a long time to do it, just go ahead and take care of it right then and there. It feels good to take care of a bunch of little things in a short time. But be careful not to get too deeply involved. Sometimes little things can turn into big things, and that can be very discouraging and frustrating. There's nothing special about the five minute rule. If you're in a rush, you can make it a two minute rule. If you have more time to spend processing your stuff, then you can relax the rule a little bit and make it ten minutes. But any longer than that, and you start to get in danger of getting lost in the tasks before you've cleared your inbox. For actions that are important but will take some time, you have two choices. The best choice is to schedule the task for a specific time in the future when you know you will have the time, location, and energy to do it. Keep in mind, you can't pick up your laundry when you're at work, and as much as you think answering your emails only takes a half an hour, it always takes longer. Be honest with yourself about the resources you need to do something right, and always honor your calendar. If the task does not need to be done at a specific time, you can put it on your next actions list. Whenever you don't have something scheduled and consider yourself to be working, you should be chipping away your next actions list. In general, consider scheduling your most important tasks to make sure they get progressed, but do be careful not to oversubscribe yourself. So that's a high level overview of the GTD fundamentals. If your inbox is empty right now, you should be working on one of your next actions or fleshing out one of your most important projects and deciding what's the most important thing that you should be doing next or following up on uh, one of the things that you're waiting for others to do. In the future I'll put together videos on the daily review which is just a quick kind of five minute glance at your, at your uh, in basket and your next actions to make sure nothing important is slipping by. A weekly review which is a little higher level look where you completely process your inbox and uh, look at your projects to see if you need to renegotiate or reprioritize anything at, at a more course level. I'll do a video on the fundamentals of project workflow which I kinda glossed over in this video but I think it's very important and finally on how to use Evernote as a GTD system. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in hearing more of my ideas about productivity systems let me know. I enjoy talking about GTD and helping people get more done with less stress, and I love feedback, so please leave a comment or drop me an email. Thank you.